Hi guys, today I'm going to make an oversized black shirt jacket that you can style yourself in three different ways. You can have it as a warm jacket, a plaid shirt, or just a simple casual t-shirt dress. You will need to make six pieces of the pattern for this project, which is front shape, front placket, back shape, sleeves, collar, and pockets. If you are not able to make the paper pattern, it will be a great way to tear apart an old shirt and draw the shape out. Make sure you save the same allowance. The first step is to add the front placket inside. Make a notch in the middle of the placket that you can know from where you should start sewing. Turn the inside out and that's how you get your lower collar. Connect the front piece and the back piece together by the shoulder line. Attach the sleeve on the armhole. Don't pull the fabric too hard in case that the sleeves wouldn't be straight below the shoulder. Now it's time to sew the basic shape out by connecting the whole way around the body side and the sleeve side. You don't need to stop between, just sew all the way down until you reach the bottom. It comes the interesting part which is adding the collar. You are going to match the right side together and connect it with the front placket. My suggestion is to match the edge first and then set the middle point to make sure you put the collar exactly in the right position. After that, hide the same allowance like so. You will need to sew it on the attaching line so that you wouldn't see the thread outside.
Adding the pocket is not complicated. You just need to draw the pattern you like and make sure the two pockets are the same size and on the same position. Always be patient when you are sewing in the wrong corner. Sew the clothesline on the edge of the collar if you are choosing for the perfection. But this is not really necessary for a DIY project. Now hem the bottom, and the jacket is almost finished. The jacket is done after you sew the buttons on it. I will be showing the details of how to sew buttons in another video. Please click here to watch.